Hello friends, welcome to our channel Pharma Tree. Today I am with new video for all and especially this video is for 10 plus 2 science students and pharmacy students. So please watch it till the end. So today's video will be about pharmacy, history of pharmacy and pharmacy profession. So friends, let us start our video with intro. Friends, in general we know that pharmacy deals with Pharmacy is the art, practice or profession of preparing, preserving and dispensing medical drugs. The real definition of pharmacy is The word pharmacy was coined from the Greek word pharmakon meaning medicine or drug. Pharmacy is the health science that links the medical science with the chemistry and it is charged with the discovery, production, control, disposal, safe and effective use of drugs. The practice of pharmacy requires excellent knowledge of drugs, their mechanism of action, side effects, interactions, mobility and toxicity. Now we move on to the history of pharmacy. History of pharmacy can be divided into two subclasses that is prehistory and written history. Now first in prehistoric, paleopharmacological studies attest the use of medicinal plants in prehistory. Here paleo means old or historical. So historic pharmacological studies shows proof of using medicinal plants for the treatment. For example, herbs were discovered in the Shanidhar caves in Iraq and remains of Arica nut in the Spirit Cave, Thailand. At that time, they used mud, leaves, leaf juices and cool water to stop bleeding of wounds. They used these methods by observing how animals used to heal their wounds. Next comes the written history of pharmacy. Sumerian cuneiform tablets record prescriptions for medicine. Ancient Egyptian pharmacological knowledge was recorded in various papyri such as Ebers Papyrus of 1550 BC and the Edwin Smith Papyrus of the 16th century BC. In ancient Greece, according to the Edward Kremers and Glenn Sondecker, before, during and after the time of Hippocrates, there was a group of experts in medicinal plants. Probably the most important representative of these Rhizotomai was Diocles of Carastus. He is considered to be the source for all Greek pharmacotherapeutic treatises between the time of Theophrastus and Diosocrates. In ancient Greece and Rome, during the Middle Ages in Europe, the art of healing was recognized a separation between the duties of the physician and those of the herbalist. In 15th century AD, the Greek physician Padanius Diosocrates wrote a five-volume book De Materia Medica covering over 600 plants and coining the term Materia Medica. It formed the basis for many medieval texts and was built upon many Middle Eastern scientists during the Islamic Golden Age. The earliest or oldest known Chinese manual on Materia Medica was compiled during the Han Dynasty and was attributed to the mythical Shenong. Earlier literature included list of prescriptions for specific ailments Exemplified by a manuscript, recipes for 52 ailments found in the Mawangdu tomb sealed in 168 BC. The earliest known compilation of the medicinal substances in Indian traditional medicine attributed to Sushruta who is recorded as a physician of the 6th century BC. The first pharmacist in the world is Anhiti from Bhagdad and also in Bhagdad the first pharmacies or drug stores were established in 754 under the Abbasid Caliphate during the Islamic Golden Age. By the 9th century, these pharmacies were state regulated. In empiric era, the pharmacopoeia became a regulatory tool for pharmacists. The Benjamin Franklin started the first hospital in 1751. It had a pharmacy and with the first hospital pharmacist was Jonathan Roberts. And also in 1821, the Philadelphia College of Pharmacy was founded. William Proctor, the father of American pharmacy, he owned a pharmacy called Apothecary at that period. He also dedicated his time and attention for advancement of pharmacy. Next comes industrialization era. In 1800s, increased technical sophistication, rapid mass production of medicines, followed by standardization, biologically prepared products, complex chemicals in and the increased use of parenteral medications were all part of this period. The late 1880s 
German dye manufacturers had perfected the purification of individual organic compounds from tar and other mineral sources and had also established rudimentary methods in organic chemical synthesis. Chloral hydrate was introduced as a sleeping aid and sedative in 1869 and chloroform was first used as an anesthetic in 1847. Derivatives of phenothiazines had an important impact on various aspects of medicine. Beginning with methylene blue, which was originally used as a dye after its synthesis from aniline in 1876. Phenothiazines were used as anti-malarials, antiseptics and anti up to 1940. In 1950, chlorpromazine was discovered which began the psychopharmacological revolution. The next comes the patient caring era. The beginning of this period concentrated on research to develop new medicines. They also researched about adverse drug reactions so drug monitoring and review also started. Thank you so much friends. This was in depth information about history of pharmacy. If you think this video has helped you, please like and subscribe. Thank you so much friends for watching this video. If you like video, please make like button blue and make red subscribe button white or black. Press bell icon to be notified for our upcoming videos and do share to all your friends and make them to be my friends. To be with us in contact, please join our telegram channel. Check the link in description.